Good morning, boys and girls. We're back again with another Tokyo vlog. We're just waiting, making our way down to uh, Tokyo Auto Salon for today. But before we make it over there, we're gonna do one quick stop with Lee. We're gonna stop into a Miyata specialty shop. What's it called, Lee? Uh, the name is uh, Car Make Corns. Car Make Corns. Let's do a quick stop. I love these kind of Japanese shops. Just. There's something different, different than North America. Love it. <laughs> this is so cool. Uh, these are so nice. You always park every morning. You put right over Yeah. Yeah, I think so. These. Yeah. <laughs> one for. Oh, yeah, one. And one for oh, FD two. You should get one for FD two. Can, oh, can can can. Oh, but here. Okay. Thank you. Wow, look at this. <laughs> you, f yeah. you fan, you should get this for the shop. <laughs> yeah, carbon. Yeah. Old carbon table too. Big here. <laughs> wow. I like it. It's so neat. I have three. You guys, if you guys are like a big Mazda fan, or Maz, or sorry, like if you're a big Mazda Miata fan, this is the shop you guys gotta check out. Pretty unique, it's pretty awesome. Kinda, kinda small, but that's exactly how it is in Japan. Very unique. This is new this year. Gotta grab one of these. For me? Oh, oh here's nice. nice. <laughs> Look at this, right at the entrance. Got the Millennium Jade, Nurse Spec, Midnight Purple, B Spec 2, Bayside Blue. Then you got your unicorn over here. 400R. Million dollars right here, you guys. Wow. Wow, and we're over here too. Look at this. Look at this. Man, I got every color here. This And this unicorn here, and then having this unicorn right next to it, it's just even more spectacular. Just amazing. And we got another Halo here, R33 in the LM B spec. Very, very special. Clean NSXR. You don't get these in Canada or the United States. And this is a really clean specimen here. Amazing. Super clean. I love that steering wheel. Wow, look at this. Absolutely incredible. It's 
too bad we can't see inside. It's so tinted, so black. But very clean on the outside. Super clean. Here they got another one, orange. This one we can see inside. Look at this beauty. Beautiful act of red, 34. energy drink tastes like a, like apple not bad not bad all right so this year Johnny and I decided we're gonna come up with a game plan we're gonna start on hall number five because I think that's where Liberty Walk and uh, Top Secret and all the other like the cool stuff we want to go and check it out before all the merch gets sold out like last year and then we're gonna make our way back to number one where all like car parts are I think that's a that's a good game plan so we'll meet you guys there all right this is pretty nice you guys let's check this out it's a Porsche 911, old versus new, and uh, look at the interior, got the Recaros, got the paddle shifters, a massive wing, let's look at this back end here, crazy. Look at that. So nice, you guys. Oh my lord, look at this one. Wow. So far, this is the most favorite car of the show I just started. And wow, all leather wrapped. Absolutely amazing. Look at the power plant. ITBs. Wow. Just slammed. Ooh. Look at the mirrors. That steering wheel. Oh, look at the seats. Okay, thumbs up for me, guys. This one for sure. All right, guys, this is another hidden gem here, guys. No, go, go ahead, guys, go ahead, no worries. Oh, I'm trying my best. I'm gonna try to get as best footage I can, but it's so hard, it's, it's so super busy here, you guys. But, oh. Japan has just so many amazing builds here, you guys. I keep on saying the same thing over and over and over again, but I tell you, it just completely amazes me every time I come. Oh. Look at that, you guys, matching door cards. Even the back seats are matching. Every year, I don't know, it's something about Liberty Walk, it just, always always top notch and just over the top it just always amazes me every time this one's caught my eye first wow you guys what can i say liberty walk you guys
Here's one of their Smurf editions. Liberty Walk always has a merch line at Tokyo Auto Salon and it's always packed and it always gets sold out. So you gotta show up early just to get whatever you want. Johnny's copped to something there and I think it's a hoodie that he wanted. Probably part of the Smurf line. Pretty amazing. Look at how many exhaust pipes there is here, guys. Five. This creation is pretty crazy from Tom's. Pretty standard car, I think, just with some arrow and. But I do like the hood. I really like the hood. Carbon mirrors. Lots of carbon bits on this. And your own bucket seats. You know Japan's all about the bling bling and you know outrageous cars, but look at this. Jeez. I wonder how hard it would be to clean this car. <laughs> yeah, it is absolutely bonkers. Even in the inside, if you can see. Crazy. Look at this. Is it so stunning in person? If you ever get a chance to take a look at one of these suckers, oh, these are beautiful. Some people like them, some people don't hate them. So I like them. Oh, what a beaut. Look at this. So much carbon fiber. And oh, it's, it's a wrap. It's a carbon fiber wrap, you guys. Just so disappointing. But, anyways, AP Racing brakes. That is really disappointing. I really thought that was real carbon fiber. But it's just a mock up. Because it's not even real exhaust. But anyways, just so you get to see what it looks like. The FL5 in a racing form. This wing is like massive. Wonder really how fast this thing would be on the open road. Well, this is my car guys. Just in like a racing form and gut it out and one day maybe, eh? Okay? Oh, look at this Mugen. So got it out inside there. Got it Mugen. I 
wonder what size of wheels they are or tires they use. Let's have a look. Uh, right there, 260. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's a weird number. Look at this back end, you guys. Deleted it. Look at that wing. Whew. All right, guys, so here's the Mugen. Very, very mild compared to last year's. Uh, Non-carbon lip. Yeah, very, very mild compared to last year. Different side skirts. But the same Recaro seats as last year, but this year they stitched it in. Last year they didn't. Full bucket. Nice carbon interior. Johnny really likes the wing here over the spoon. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the Mugen wing or the spoon wing? Let's see if they have, oh yeah, the, the pea shooter from last year. I do not like that at all, but it is what it is. People like it, people don't. But personally, this is not for me. Oh, I like the new lights. That's something new there. All right, guys, so the first thing I noticed was this is the new Mugen lights uh new tail lamps what do you guys think is that nice or is that something that needs to be growing first thing that came to mind was it looks a little ford ford mustang but what do you guys think leave a comment below all right here guys here's a shot of the uh mugen recaro seats from the back and it's, it says recaro on it and it's a full bucket so here's a more aggressive version of the Mugen FL5. And you can see all carbon fiber. Carbon fiber hood, huge vents on it. Carbon fiber fenders. Mugen wheels, Brembo brakes. Side skirts are just absolutely massive. Mugen seats. Carbon wing. This is really nice. New Mugen lights. And it even says Mugen in here if you can actually see it. Hopefully it shows up in uh, the camera here. Splitter, all full carbon. It's pretty cool, you can actually see the air vents coming through. Well, not the vents, but the vents, the honeycombs, just to let the air flow through. That's pretty awesome. The only thing is, if you ever go with this body kit, you got to have to go with that um, exhaust because there's already a cutout for it. So I don't know if you can actually modify it or not. But if you do modify it, most likely you're going to damage the splitter, right? This is a car I wanted to see in person, the Build by Legends, mine's R34. Oh, this is so gorgeous. The car is gorgeous. The new race tees. <laughs> that green carbon is oh, so nice. The combination green and white. Very, very nice. <laughs> Look at that carbon work. Yeah, <laughs> And guys, trust me, don't worry, I won't touch. Last time I got yelled at. Woo! Alright, here we go again with the top secret booth. This year they decided to do a R34. Maybe it's because of admissibility into the US now. 
pretty smart if they did, if that is, was the main reason why they did one. Pretty smart of them. It looks pretty nice in person. But uh, this gold always gets me every year. I still love the 33 or 32 here. But ah, this gold gets me. Beautiful. Beautiful. And this is a work of art. Fantastic. Mint. And this is their new one with a new uh, new bumper that is starting to grow on me. At first I didn't like it at first, but now it's starting to grow on me. And then you got these two. If you're into uh, drift cars, this is probably the booth for you guys. Amazing, I love this one. Japan has pretty much everything, you guys. All right, boys and girls, here's the Varus FL5. Very aggressive lip. See the two-piece carbon fiber, and then your, I believe it's plastic. Uh, fiber reinforced plastic. You got your canards. And then you got your hood. Got your replacement side skirts. And then you got your wing here. There's your standard lights, Johnny. There's your standard lights compared to the Mugen. This is your stock ones. Yeah. I wonder if the stock ones are better or the Mugen ones. Hello, how are you? Right. They put the Army Tricks exhaust on it. And your splats, little extensions. Yeah. You've got the wing. Kamikaze Supersonic. Supersonic. Okay. On the front lip. The front bar. All right. So they have one that it's a different version, a little less aggressive. So let's start out with the lip again. Carm lip. They don't have the extension on here. And the hood is a little more, I guess, not a little, I guess a lot less subtle, uh, su a lot more subtle and less air vents. You got the stock one, full carbon hood. Honestly, I kind of like this one because I, I like my stuff a little subtle. And they went with the Advance on this. And you got your carbon skirts again. Skirts are growing on me for sure. Because I know a spoon doesn't offer this. And then here's your standard wing, just a little more aggressive looking than the stock one. And then again, with your splats, they went with blitz on this one. And then maybe this could be a good, nice add on there, make it look more aggressive. Yeah. What do you think? Would you choose this one to go with this option? Less aggressive, more OEM plus? or the red one over there. Let me know in the comments below, you guys. Yeah, I like this one, right? Yeah. Johnny likes this one. I, I think it's more OEM Plus is, is the, way, the way I'm leaning towards for mine. Yeah, but leave a comment below, you guys. Ricaro. Yeah. Ricaro. Not too much Ricaro. red, red. Yeah. And then you got the stock steering wheel with Alcantara. You know what I noticed that it's a very popular car in Japan? The Mazda RX-7 FD. They are everywhere. You got Mazda over there. Mazda over here. Mazda over here. Mazda over here. Mazda over there. And then you got one over there, the green one. Very, very popular car. And that's not, it's just, just in this one area. 
the, all the other areas that we went through, there's so many I noticed. Lots. So this is kind of neat that uh, we kind of saw, Johnny noticed that three different size tips, but the smaller ones on the outside, carbon fiber red, carbon on the black, on the outside, two. And uh, I was looking, you can see the Cusco sway bar. So Cusco's already made a set for it already, and the exhaust pipe. I don't know, it's weird. I don't know the reason, what the reason why they went with a different size there. Whoa, Let's see, massive. Well, look at this. I can tear a steering wheel, but E-Derb grid seats. <laughs> that is awesome. Look at that, you guys. Looks amazing. VBS and Endless. Look at those brakes. I wonder what they did in the back ones. Uh, just standard. It's gonna be hard to get around that. All right, so here's some more information. I don't read Japanese. I can't read Japanese. And But for any of you guys who are wondering the information on the exhaust, there you go. All right, so here's another FL5, you guys, with a uh, oh, weird looking way, uh, lip. Oh, it's Blitz. You got Blitz lip. And look at the crazy Recaro seats. And again, Alcantara steering wheel. I don't know, that's a pretty common theme now. I think digging them. Wonder if I should put mine on. Right. This year, yeah, Blitz exhaust. Oh, I love this. I wish I could get one of these, but can't get them in Canada. Look at this beautifully built engine by HKS. And if you're really wondering what it looks like, they have one actually outside of the vehicle. And I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Look right there. Beautiful. Um, check out the new exhaust from HKS. Not sure how aggressive it's going to sound because there's a muffler, but pretty. The tips look amazing. Let's just see if I can get it a little closer for you guys. Right there, HKS. This 86 is beautiful. I absolutely love the. Uh, Strap bars here. Look at those. I love it. Love it. Got the Advance and Endless. And look at the look at the bodywork. And of course they got the HKS limited edition bridge seats and the harnesses. Wow, so nice. Look at the wing on this thing. You got Maya's car, and then you got her dad's car. And it even has my seats in it. Got the new E-Derbs. As I had to mention this one, this is uh, last but not least on the list, the Aim Gain FL5. I almost missed it, I just walked by and I just saw it, so I had to turn the camera back on. 
this kid's been online and has been teasing us and now I got to see it in person and it's uh, I do really like the lip, it's very subtle, it's not super aggressive, not in your face. You got the wing mirrors, just like the uh, Mercedes, or sorry, BMW. And you got the carbon, very, very subtle. And you got the little added touches here, the vortex generators. And then you got the wing. The carbon's actually really, the carbon works actually really nice. And then of course, you got your diffuser. This is probably the nicest diffuser I've seen so far. Like again, not overly aggressive, just enough to make a difference. And it sticks out, just for you guys to see. Compared to the Mugen, the Mugen is actually really, really aggressive compared to this one. This is a very subtle. Right, here you go guys. The wing is actually pretty, pretty big compared to the OEM. But again, very subtle. Same game. Not too sure if I'm a big fan of the mirrors. Maybe just because it's just a cap one. But there you go.